everyone, how are you? I hope you have a few minutes to spend with me because I have a bigger haul than I thought I was going to. <laughs> so I have been gathering some things and I didn't realize everything I had purchased until right now. So <laughs> I'm actually a little embarrassed to share this because <laughs> I've been trying so hard to pare down what I own and I probably shopped three, four separate times and I've kind of gathered some things. Like for example, I'm going to show you more lip products than I used up this year. So <laughs> I have an issue and I am learning that through this process of being on YouTube. So I want to know, do you guys have any tips on how not to get sucked in by new products, new brands, um, like all the flashy new products. Like, it's just all the newness and like, I just wanna try everything. You all know I just moved from the United States to Germany and they're like new German brands I wanna try. And there's just, there's just a lot here and then things go on sale and things I wanted to try there. I'm, I'm just getting sucked in. So I need some help on how to stop doing that. So. Let me show you what happened, and yeah, let me just dive in. So let's start with drugstore. So I did a mini European haul. I'll link that above if you're interested. I went back and I found some new things. I'm still looking for the brand P2. A lot of you have recommended that brand to me. I have not yet found it, but I will. Um, as I say, I don't want to buy anything, but I'm going to find that brand. Uh, okay, I'll find that brand maybe around Christmas time. For those of you who celebrate that holiday, that's a holiday I celebrate and purchase some things then. But let me show you other things that I found because I'm going into these stores and there's so much new stuff and I'm loving it. So I want to use it. Uh, the first thing I love are face wipes. I use these as my first step of the night. I use this to remove all my makeup, then I get in the shower and wash my face. And I found two new brands, or maybe the same brand, I can't quite tell, I think they're different. But they were in the same area of um, a discount grocery store, and these were only one euro, which is like a dollar ten, a dollar fifteen US. So I found this one, and this is, I believe, by the brand Shishara, Cisara, and basically what this says is this is a makeup remover wipe for all skin types um, and even takes off uh, waterproof makeup and it's a three-in-one because it also doesn't have any alcohol and it helps refresh your face and it says young so I'm filming this is good for sensitive skin and for 25 sheets I thought if these are good I mean why not use them so the first ingredient which I also like is water and then it has triglyceride so um, there's some perfume in here, so I'm hoping that doesn't hurt my skin too much, but, you know, I just want to give these a go, plus they were a euro. I also found the brand, which I think, I don't know how different brands work, but I think it's called Bebe. And this is what they look like, Bebe, Young Care, or Baby. And this is a 5-in-1, so the last one was a 3-in-1, this one is a 5-in-1. And this is also for normal skin, it's a makeup remover. And it says it takes off waterproof makeup. And I just thought that this was really intriguing. Again, 25. I don't know what it says. Oh, don't throw in the toilet. Well, why would I throw them in the toilet? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. But I saw these. These were also a Euro. And I just, I use them every day. And if I can get them for a euro, that'd be amazing. The cheapest I have found in the United States for ones I like, surprise, sneak peek, I am loving the ones I get at CVS. Oh no, the brand is escaping me. There's also the ones you get at like um, big box stores like Costco. You can get them like for 500 wipes for $12. Those, I've tried those for the first time. Equate, that's the brand, Equate. And I'm just digging it, so. But if those are only a euro, those are cheaper. And I can't get a Quake brand here other than shipping them here in Germany. So, uh, other brands 
I'm gonna be all over the place because I just have so much in front of me. I'm so embarrassed. I actually got how much I have to show you guys. Uh, another brand here in Germany that I want to explore is Catrice. And I've seen people talk about this on YouTube. It was never an option in Washington State. But this is the All Matte Plus Shine Control Powder. That's what it looks like. I've already started putting this in Project Pan. Uh, I'm super excited. I'm actually in a makeup competition. Use it up. And it's going to be with Courtney or Trivi 3. And it's just really exciting. I'll have that video linked up above if you're just watching it. But this is in there. And I am loving it so far. Another hint. Dude, really finely milled. Like, this is this is a good find. So I'm excited about that. Plus, it's on par price-wise with my real powder, which I love. So, um, do I have anything else from Catrice? Yes, I've got this eyebrow filler. And I have no idea if this is good or bad. This is in the shade... Brown, brunette. Why don't you say... Whatever, this is supposed to be an eyebrow gel. I, it has a bigger brush than I'm used to. I normally use the Essence Make Me Brow, um, but I wanted to give this one a go. It looks like a good shade. It's a bit more ashy, and I want to try this out. I'm afraid of that big brush a little bit, though. I'm afraid it's going to get, like, too much gum in my brows, but I'm willing to give it a try. Plus, this was a bit more expensive. I'm now regretting my purchase of this, but I did use up my Essence Make Me Brow, so I need another one. So there's a reason I purchased that one. <laughs> oh god. Uh, a brand that you guys recommended to me is Manhattan Nail Polish. So of course I had to go out and get another nail polish. This is in the shade 500 Hot Brownie. And you can see it really is a chocolate brown. Slightly warm. It's got a shift to it. Of, I don't want to say gold, but like a warm caramel. So you don't want to shake it up a little bit. But I love this. I think it's so pretty. It is an intense gel shine, just like it says. And look at this brush. How awesome is that brush? Right? Isn't that awesome? It's a big, flat one, easy to apply, easy to get in areas. So I'm excited to continue trying this. But so far, first application, great. Loved it, very smooth. And I've got some other colors that I've got my eye on, but I just bought some more nail polish, so I want to use it more before I buy them. Uh, speaking of nail polish, lipsticks and nail polishes, you guys. Lipsticks and nail polishes, always my problem. I got this, what brand is this? Rival de Loop, or R sometimes you see RDL Young, and sometimes you just see Revel de Loop. They're the same brand. I don't, maybe they're two sides of it. Maybe one's marketed more towards teenagers. That's the young part. I don't know. But I saw this, and this is a gray taupe with silver shift. And I, it just drew me in. And it was like $2, 2 euro, excuse me. So like $2.25 in the United States. Yes, it's a small bottle, but I thought the color was beautiful. I've not yet tried this on my actual nails, but. It's got the same flat brush that I love, and I'm really excited to give this one a go. Plus, it's Express Nails, so I think the way that they're describing this is in 45 seconds, my nails will be done, instead of like the normal 30 minutes I spend doing it. The last drugstore item I bought was the same brand, so Rival de Loop. This is their Rouge Powder, and... I was not in love with the Tarte blush that I'm trying to use up in my um, project, like the palette use it up, my project palette, what is it, can you tell my brain is going all foggy, but it's a palette I'm using all year long, and the blush just is just, it's not, it doesn't fit me, it's more of an apricot, and I don't really look good in apricot shades, so I chose this one, this is a real rose shade. Um, and it's literally called Zero One Rosy Blush. It's just a beautiful powder. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. But that's what it looks like. It has really nice pigmentation, meaning that it doesn't go overboard pigmentation. You can build it up. Build it up a little bit right there. It does not have any shine. It is completely matte. The shine you see is a highlight from my Tarte palette that I'm using up. So... Alright, that's all the European 
products that I bought here, or I should say German products that I bought here. Then I also had a birthday. People gave me products, which I'm very excited about. Like my sister got me this Dr. Jart water, ooh, reflection, the water drops. Can I put it there? This is a face moisturizer. What I think is really interesting about this one, I'm sorry, I'm gonna blind you. Let me put that down. Is once you put it on your skin, it almost um, it, it like creates water droplets and then you rub in the water droplets. It's really, really interesting. Let me just show you a little bit of it. So it looks like that. Comes out white. You kind of put it on. Yeah. Do you see the water? You're probably not going to see it, but they're like little water droplets. Then you rub in the water droplets, and it just feels so nice, especially for the summer. Okay, I'm smelling some citrus, but I must admit, I did not put... That might have been the lotion I put on previously because I just filmed another video. No, there's no scent to it. It's clean and clear. It's like... just, But it just creates just a look of moisture. It sinks right in. It's perfect for summer. I think this is a great product. I'm really excited my sister got it for me for my birthday. And you'll probably see that in empty soon because I'm just digging it. I'm loving that one. Another product that I got as a present were these coconut nail arts. And they're maritime. Ah, I'm so excited. I uh, study in maritime history. So I love everything with anchors and crabs and seahorses <laughs> and dolphins. Like... Anything with sea creatures or with boats or whales. I'm in love with whales. Um, and so I'm really excited to try these out. I have never tried like these nail wraps before, like any type of brand. So I don't know if they're good or bad or if I'm gonna like fail miserably at them. But I'm excited to give them a go because I've never tried them. And why not try something new? And then of course I shopped at my beauty store. So I shopped at both Ulta, where I used to work, and I shopped at Sephora. So I got both their birthday gifts. So here's the Sephora one. I'm sure you've already seen it. I got the Tarte one. It's got the 24-hour blush in Parte. I got the uh, Tartist Creamy Matte Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. They're still in the box. I haven't opened these up yet. And then for Ulta, I got the Lancome Paris New Mascara, and it's called Monsuri big. And because I have so many mascaras open, I have not, but it looks like a natural bristle brush, which is right up, it kind of looks like my eyes. My two eyes facing the same way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I told you, this guy's going to be a long video. I'm just rambling. I've got time to kill. I'm glad you're here with me. <laughs> um, that brush looks like a natural natural bristle brush, which is what I'm into. It looks a little clumpy, but I'm not afraid of a little bit of clump. So I'm excited to dig into this one. So once I use up a few more mascaras, I'm going to dig into that one. Okay, now time to show you what I got at both Ulta and Sephora. <laughs> so Sephora, I got quite a few things. But some of them are 100-point perks, so I don't feel like it's quite as bad. Okay, so the first thing, of course, is nail polish. Um, I was all into unicorns. Not that I look like a unicorn. I like putting things on my face that look like a unicorn. But I like the idea of unicorns, and I think it's cute. So I saw this uh, by Nails Inc. And Nails Inc. is one of my favorite nail polish brands, hands down. Uh, and it was just this cute little set and it says, give your hooves a holographic makeover with this gleaming duo. That's cute. That's cute. Choose from two unicorn looks, dreamy soft sheen rainbow or blinding sparkle with 3D pigment. And they are just so cute. So this is your hollow one. So it actually has a rainbow in there, which you probably can't see, but it's like a blue, green, purple shift. And then this is your glitter, which is more like uh, copper glitter. It's like a copper purple gold glitter. And I already have nail polish similar to this now that I see it in person. But I'm really excited to have this because that one I do have isn't in Nails Ink. And I just, I'm just really excited about digging into that one. So, okay, so then 
I needed to get, of course, to $25 so I could get my free products because <laughs> that's how Sephora gets you to buy $25 worth of stuff. Uh, I also pulled up this Bosha Charcoal Jelly Ball Cleanser. Tati made me buy it. She used this. She said it was the best for taking off makeup. It's still in the box. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm excited to give this one a go. It looks super fun to play with, and I don't know if I want to keep it in the shower because if it's jelly, it might like disintegrate, but I think it'll be okay to be on, uh, like my, in my bathroom. That's what I'm hoping at least, so I'm excited to dig into that. I got a Makeup Forever lipstick in Rouge Artist Naturel. It's in the shade N9, and I've never had a Makeup Forever lipstick before, but I just really like this shade. It really is like a neutral rose brown that's a shade there and the one downside I will say about this lipstick immediately they did not know it has a strong floral scent it reminds me of Lancome lipsticks or Rimmel lipsticks you know with that old lady rose like floral scent not like that but the pigmentation is really good on it I do like the shade of it so I'm going to give it a good shot if I end up not liking it, I'll just pass it on um, because that's kind of what I do with the products I'm in love with. So, because those are easy to clean. So then, of course, I got some perks. I got the uh, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. You'll see I already have a travel size of this. I do like the scent. I like the lotion. I thought it was worth 100 points to use it up. So this is a pretty good size, I thought. This is 0.8 fluid ounce. Like, that's pretty good. I think their travel size is 1.7 ounces, and that's $20. So in my mind, this is like 6 bucks worth of product. So I picked that up. I also picked up the Hourglass Lip Stylo in the shade Girl. This was another 100 point perk. Um, it's like little, right? It's like the size of your finger. But that's okay because I don't ever use a lip rod. I actually have so many of them. And that's the shade there. You can see what shades I like. Can you tell? <laughs> I will say this has a little bit more slight, slight coral in it. More than this one. This one's a little bit more pink. But they're both neutrals. Maybe I should say caramel. Like, this is more of a neutral caramel. This is a bit on the pinkier side. They're really similar, though. Things, again, I did not know before they came in the mail. Uh, continuing with Sephora. See, please notice I've used up just a few lip products this year, and I've already put two in this project, and here are four more. And I've got another one coming up. So... <laughs> This is why I need your help. Uh, this is a little Huda Beauty set. This is the pink edition, and it's their Liquid Matte Minis. This has four shades of pink, including Gossip Girl, Trophy Wife, Icon, and Socialite. Socialite is not matte. See, it says Liquid Matte Minis. Socialite is technically matte, but it has glitter in it. So it's not matte, in my opinion. In my humble, non-educated opinion, apparently, they're not matte. But those are the shades there. If you want more information on these, please let me know. I'm not going to swatch them right now, but if you do want me to swatch them, I can do a video on them. So, uh, there's that. And so you can layer these, you can use them solo. YouTube made me buy it. People see talk about Huda Beauty. I don't own any of their liquid lipsticks, so I thought I'd pick up these for my birthday. <laughs> okay, so now let's go into Ulta. And... You know Ulta has my heart. Ulta always has my heart. I work there. I miss it. I miss playing with makeup from working there. I miss playing with the new launches, although I'm hoping not working there will stop me from buying makeup at least a little bit. I'm hoping, um, but I did... So I was born in May, and Memorial Day has sales at Ulta, and so I picked up a few items, and I love them. And I, I couldn't stay away. So the first item I picked up was this Tartist lip paint. And I sh picked in the shade Delish. These went on like super sale. I think they're actually going to discontinue them. 
Um, I remember when they came out, so it makes me sad. That's that's a shade delish. And I will s swatch this one for you. It's uh, similar to the last two I switched. <laughs> Swatched, I swat. You're gonna laugh. Yeah, that's right. Similar tone. <laughs> um, this one, of course, is a liquid lipstick, so it's gonna swatch very differently from the other ones. It's a bit more saturated with color. It's a bit more rosy of a tone. Uh, and the applicator, by the way, has that little chair in it, so it's perfect to get into the contours of your lips. I like, I like Tarte. I like Tarte. I like these. I've worn this a couple times. It's like every other lip product I own, and I love it. I have a problem. Um, now I will say this will go down mostly matte. There's still a hint of a shine to it, but I like it. Another item that went on sale on the Memorial Day sale was this It Cosmetics brush. This is the bronzer brush, the Airbrush Essential bronzer, bronzer in 114. And just, let me look at that for a second. Yes. It's soft like a bunny. It's perfect density to get on the forehead and swoop it around. It feels so nice. I've actually not used this yet for my bronzer, but I will after this video. I'm super excited about it. Ugh, it feels so good. So good. And one thing, this is gonna sound silly, but one thing I do like is that Cosmetics Brush just comes with this case. So you can just stick it in there, clap the tap, clap the tap, click the top, <laughs> and now it's ready to travel. So I don't have to worry about this getting ruined on my travels, so I appreciate that. The last thing I got from Ulta is a new foundation and people on YouTube were raving about the number seven stay perfect foundation and I'm a follower so I picked this one up I did not choose the right shade I chose the shade cool vanilla and this is my winter shade I did not pick my summer shade by accident but it does have a pump which, you know, is always a good idea. So I will not be using this for right now, but I will be using this in the winter, and I'm really excited to give it a go. It says medium to full coverage. Um, I like medium coverage. That's like, that's my home, that's where I like to stay. I don't like to go completely matte. I've got medium on now, so I'm excited to give this one a go. And, glass packaging. Can't get better than that. Okay, final item. Thank you for sticking with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, on my trip cross country, I stopped in Vegas. Because I was turning the big 3-0, and we're better turn 30 than Vegas. Okay, so I actually didn't turn 30 in Vegas, but it was close enough. And they had in the Venetian, an Inglot shop, and I have never bought anything from Inglot before. And I've heard good things about it, so I thought I'd pick up one eyeshadow. And I chose this one. This is in the shade 605. And it's right on trend now. It is a burnt orange. Isn't that pretty? It's got that shine to it. It swatches absolutely fantastic. I'm running out of room. I'm going to put it right here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I just thought this would be a great lid shade. I'd like to blow it out in the crease a little bit. Just extend it up to my eye because I've got hooded eyes. And it's just a beautiful, warm, copper, orange shade right on trend for right now. So I picked that up. It was only $7. I thought Inglot shadows were like super, like stupid, stupid expensive. But I thought $7 was right on par. I mean, compared to MAC shadows, you're getting so much more product. Put it in, you're getting 2.7 grams of product. And the size of this is so much bigger than MAC shadows. Like MAC shadows are like bad. Like isn't that crazy? I thought that was a really good deal. So I'm tired of talking. I was super excited to get started on this video. I have so much stuff and like super embarrassed to show you everything. But now we've come to the end. And I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. If you have any ways to stop me from buying makeup please let me know my husband's tried everything he knows he's sitting right over there right there and uh he keeps looking at me like i buy more makeup stop doing that but i can't help it i love it i love it all i want it all 
but I want to use it up. <laughs> These two things do not combine. All right, now I'm trampling. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next one. Subscribe if you haven't already, because if you made it to the end, you should definitely be a subscriber. And thanks.